Hey everyone, Justin Pate from the Rap Institute, and in this video, I'm gonna give you tips and tricks on how to successfully ceramic coat a matte black wrap, one of the hardest wraps to maintain, and actually a very tricky one to put a ceramic coating on, because if it dries too quick, it might leave high spots or low spots, you might have to redo a section. So with that, let's go to those tips and tricks. So in this case right now, we're gonna be using a product from Diamond Protec. It's called Diamond Wrap it's for PPF and vinyl. And the reason why we like it at the Wrap Institute are two main things. One is the outgassing time, instead of like most other brands, like 30 seconds, which can be super tricky on a matte finish, this one's between three and five minutes. What that means is it gives you a lot of time to kind of get the coating on and a lot of safe windows to remove the excess film so you don't get those high spots and low spots. So that's one reason we like it. And number two, the outgassing time for other brands is between, let's say, one to almost 24 hours. With Diamond Protec, it is zero. So as soon as I'm done doing this, this can go out and it's actually raining outside don't mind that at all because of diamond protec so those are the two win factors for us at the rap institute low flash or long flash time and no outcasting time those are really cool so that being said right now i'm going to prep the surface now a lot of times i've been told that you can prep the surface with a little bit of light alcohol and water and when i talk to manufacturers like diamond protec and other companies that make chemicals like coke and all those companies right now they say use kind of the products we recommend because they work really well together and i said okay cool and they said, well, in this case, Diamond Protect told me that this prep, body prep right now, is actually good because it kind of removes any handprints, but more importantly what right now, they should actually probably call it body primer. So what this is doing right now is it's creating a primer on the surface right now so the coating can stick better. So this is, almost, this is why you should use it as opposed to, let's say, um, you know, alcohol, because alcohol will kind of prep the surface, but what it can do is it can affect how it sticks for the long term. You want something that kind of really will bond to the surface, especially on a matte finish. So right now I've got everything set and then I'm gonna get into the coating. All right, now I'm ready to apply the coating on top and you wanna use a nice foam applicator. And in this case, this is, a, <laughs> this is a big, I don't even know what we call it, a back fender, the back section of the Cybertruck right now in the bed, I guess. So right now you wanna put a lot on here because big section and notice I'm even gonna do the fender flare, that plastic. So I juice it up from side to side. I even kind of fold it so it's nice and even. So once that's set right now, very important to get, to get the protocol in flow. So what I'm gonna do is just in the main section right now, I'm gonna kind of do a squiggle here and then I'm gonna frame it. The reason why I do a squiggle right now is I'm putting the first kind of run of product on the middle section. And the reason why I do that right now is when I go and do the middle section right now I'm going to pick up a lot of excess product so it doesn't kind of run out of juice from side to side. So I put the squiggle in the middle I frame it 360 around the outside first very important to do that because then I when I go top to bottom and I kind of overlap my strokes right now I don't have to worry about becoming short on the edges right now because the edges are already done. So notice I'm overlapping the strokes on the sections and again I'm picking up that excess film so you can see I'm getting nice even coverage from side to side. I also want you to note that I'm using gloves right now, so I'm protecting myself, working in a very well ventilated space. And once I kind of go side to side, I cross hatch. So I go back and forth, make sure it's nice and even. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the outgas or the flash time for Diamond Protec, their Diamond Wrap PPF and Vinyl is very long. With other brands, especially on a matte finish, I'd be kind of hustling right now. Because at this point, other brands are kind of already flashing. And if I don't start wiping off the excess and kind of evenly polishing the surface, I'm gonna have some issues. But in this case right now, I just have nice flow, making sure it's 100% covered right now. And this is that extra bonus you can kind of offer your clients right now, is I'm gonna put a little, the excess here on the plastic right now. And this kind of rejuvenates it, puts a nice coating on it. And this is something that when the client shows up, they're gonna be like, hmm, that's really, looks really good. So I can put a little excess in here. So it doesn't have to be super, super amazing full coverage. And this in the sense are like, you know, going back and polishing it, just kind of just put that excess here, just to kind of even it out. And we're good to go, cool. So now that everything's coated right now, now I need to kind of start removing the high spots or removing the excess film, and then kind of polishing. And if you come in here right now, you can kind of see it, this is what's called flashing or kind of like the material is full with a product and so now that it's full anything excess is kind of floating to the top it kind of creates that rainbowy look so now you want to take off the excess and very important to use the right towels so in this case right now i'm using polishing towels these come from the rag company and the reason why you want to use a polishing towel is i don't want to kind of remove too much product i just want to remove the excess so i'm kind of lightly going over the main surface notice i folded my towel and the reason why i fold my towel is i can rotate it and always keep the surface kind of 
absorbing and kind of nice and fresh and focused and even. And very important to get this protocol. So again, I'm not pressing too hard, just kind of going over the main surface nice and easy and straightforward. And now all the excess is removed and you can still see there's a lot of stuff going on. So now if I let it dry too long, again, those are gonna kind of dry in those high spots, low spots. But now I take another polishing towel and now watch the love. So now I'm putting a little bit of elbow grease in there because now I wanna evenly polish that across the surface. And if you're a wrapper right now, you know how sensitive matte black is, any matte, particularly black though. And right now you can see that it's really polishing up extra beautiful. Again, here I rotate it, and you can see my hand is extra wide right now because I'm putting even pressure, and that's a good key for polishing right now. And then I go back and forth, and working evenly from top to bottom. Once I get to here, I'm gonna fold the towel one more time and continue to polish. And what I love about this right now is once this is on, don't have to wait for it to outgas, and that means the client can come pick it up right away. Like right now, it is 5.45. And if this was for a client, again, this is for a video shoot that we're doing for Cheetah Wrap. Well, the client's coming at 5.45, they can pick up their car and go. And with ceramic coatings, and I mentioned earlier about pricing, normally in like a cyber truck, especially a black mat, I think you could easily charge, I don't know, between 600 and thousand dollars to put the ceramic coating on top. And you can see, based on the length of this video, how long it takes me to do this real time, not very long. And then you can do the calculation for the whole car. So if I can, use let's say $90 in product because matte black generally takes more product than a gloss film, then add up to an hourly wage. That is a very good hourly wage. And the biggest thing for me, again, it's not all about money ever, it's about making happy clients and having a great product that lasts for a long time. I know when the client picks this up, there's gonna be a big wow factor, which I love. And I know that for sure this lasts 18 months protection. So now with a matte black wrap, the client's gonna be super happy because this is gonna look good for a long time. So that's one of the benefits of using the right ceramic coating, knowing how to properly apply it, and the benefits of doing this as an upsell, happy clients, happy pocketbook, pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed this overview on how to apply a ceramic coating on top of a black matte wrap, and I hope this helps you wrap better and faster. Thanks for watching, Justin Payne.